So, I know this is dark and different. This literally is the fort. I'll show a clip after. Uh, I want to make something a little bit more personal instead of just gaming videos and stuff like that. Maybe in the future we can share stories with each other. I don't know what you guys want to do. But for today, we're going to try these treats from Colombia. Are these chips all crushed up? No, okay. So, this is the first one. It's chips and it's uh, mayonnaise. Ugh, mayonnaise flavored. Okay. Well, this is mayo flavored chips. Let's do it. It smells like... It smells like plain chips. I'll show you. Just looks like a plain chip. Um. E <laughs> Tastes like mayo. <laughs> I wish I could get you guys to smell and taste it. Yeah, like, so, yeah, it tastes like mayo. Yeah, look inside. Can you see? So, kind of tastes like plain chips too. So that's the mayo chips from Colombia, which I am definitely not gonna eat all of tonight. Because I'm starving. Uh, next up is Tosinata bacon chips. Uh, lime bacon chips. There. there you go. I wish I could share this with you guys. This is boring by myself. I. Yeah. I don't have friends. I don't have a life. Oh wait, let me check first. Is it actual bacon? No, it's gotta be just chips, right? Okay, we're all set. There's no bacon in it. Let's open this up. From Colombia. Who that has a strong smell as soon as you open it? I don't think... I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat that. Look. It's, uh, I don't know. Oh, they're kind of like, um, cheesy puffs. But, like, bacon strips. It's, I don't know. Well, whatever. Sorry, my dogs are barking. You know what that tastes like? It tastes like, um, well, I guess it's got lime in it. It just tastes like salt and vinegar chips. It stinks, though, but it's pretty good. I'll show you another one. See? Curls up like a cheesy puff. And anyway, I'm definitely not going to eat that later. Did I already show the box? I don't know. Okay, there's the box. That's what it looks like inside with all the treats. Okay. We can go through the book at the end too if you want. I don't know if some people are interested in that or but I'd rather go straight to the food. Well they explain all the food in there too, but Turbana plantain chips. Garlic. Um snack has potato chips running for cover with freshly harvested plantains and natural ingredients. Okay, let me show you. That's what that looks like. Garlic. Alright. It smells like... I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I don't know. I guess garlicky, but not really. It just looks like a dried up banana chip or something. Yeah. We have that kind of stuff out here. It's really good. Like garlic flavor? Mmm. And like 
instead of eating chips while well, there's a bunch of salt in it. But I'm sure there is. No. Really good. I'm gonna relax. I like chips and stuff in there. Um, okay. What's next? Galetas Maricas. Con dos to okay. What? It's just little cookies. Well here, let me show you. Oh, I gotta stop sitting on my foot. Like my fancy YouTuber lighting, it's a flashlight. <laughs> Cause I'm rich. Okay. That, here you go. That's what it looks like. Kind of like cookies or something. I don't know. From Colombia. Smells like nothing. I don't know. It smells like. I don't smell anything. Maybe from something I ate earlier, but. Oh, it says cookies right on it. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm actually going to open the book for this one. I kind of feel like it's just chocolate chip cookies. Here, I'll get closer. I kind of feel like it's just chocolate chip cookies, but it has a weird taste to it. Um, where are the cookies? Here. Big detective work. I got the answer, boys. Uh, you know the phrase, Jack of all trades, plant hands, win the award. In the fruit world, as one of the most multi-faced fruit of the earth, blah, 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 blah. Rigid leaves, given the flexibility for this fruit, it should be a surprise to hear that. So, it's plantains cookies. Yeah. Oh, it's backwards. Well, and it's blurry. Damn. Well, just take my words. That's why it kind of tastes like cookies, but I was like, oh, weird. I don't hate it. I'm going to eat it. Okay. Don't get me wrong. This is giant. And I only bought the small pack, the cheaper one. It's like what, 20 bucks Canadian taxes included. Excuse me, taxes included and shipping included. So this is next. It is Max Coco Bridge. So these just look like a little wafer, a little wafer bar. Um, unless it's no, it says Coco. Mm. All right. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna open it up. Just gonna open it up. Mm. Uh, I, I don't know. It's it's kind of. There's two, right? It kind of. Just like a little wafer. I'm just gonna go for it and taste it. It almost smells like cinnamon. Mm. It's good. Cinnamon or coffee or something? I gotta check this one too. Oh, it's coconut! Okay. Wafers with coconut cream filling. Look. Not that you can freaking see anything with my million dollar camera. Fancy person over here. Okay, well, it's good. 
What's next? Tulalu. This sounds like a song. That guy with the spacesuit. Tulalu Chocolores. Chocolate Blanco. Blanco means white, I'm pretty sure. I'm French, so that's what I'm guessing. Uh, well, let's let's uh, just check it out. White chocolate coated gummies. White chocolate coated gummies. Like, you look at this and you're like, is this something that's actually popular where they live? Like, do they actually eat this or are they just getting stuff and scamming us with different cool names, right? Like, I can get this around here, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to eat it either way. Oh, well, here. I'll sh it's kind of hard to see the inside. It looks like uh, Easter eggs. Can you see that? Can you see that? It kind of looks like Easter eggs. And I'll grab one here. Try it out. It smells like like chocolate. I forgot there was a gummy in the middle. <laughs> For some reason, I was expecting a peanut. That grossed me out because it gave me the taste of a raisin almost. Here's what the inside looks like. Just a like yellow gummy. I know it's hard to see. Sorry. Whatever. It's good. I mean, no complaints yet. It's not like I have anything else to do at night by myself. Except build a fort for all of my online friends and myself to hang out with and talk about stupid stuff. Oh, that sounded pathetic. Okay. So this. Next. I'm getting sick tonight, baby. These ones are called Bianchi Bar. Bianchi Bar. Right here. That's what they look like. Bianchi Bar. Okay. I'm going to open one right up. Not even going to check. Because you know what? I didn't eat supper yet, and this looks really good. Hopefully it's not something with raisins in it. It tastes and it smells like an O. Henry. I don't know. Yeah, it must be an American thing, an O. Henry, too. Like I'm in Canada, so say O. Henry. Maybe some people don't have O. Henry. It's really good. I'll show you the inside. Don't judge me for my giant bite that I took. Hmm. Damn, I wish it would. Anyway, it just looks like a regular chocolate bar with peanuts and filling in there. Hmm. I can check. Some people are curious. Chocolate coated caramel and peanut bar wafer. Yeah, so it's like I just want to eat it all right now. I don't know why. I thought there'd be like more candy, which I'm not disappointed. I'm definitely gonna eat everything. And I guess I can share it. Okay, last thing. Well, I kept it for last because it. It's the yummy bag. Oh, so this is a bag that has all the candies in it. Ooh. Ooh. Eating candy under a fork. So excited. Look at this. Yum bag. Oh, baby. What else do you want in life? Hmm. Okay. What's that? You know, the phrase, good things come in small packages. The yum bag. Uh, I kind of wanted it to explode. You got two suckers. And remember, I got the small package. Oh, I'll explain all that crap at the end. Two suckers. 
and two, um, what the hell are they called? Super truly things that get stuck in your teeth. <laughs> oh, it's upside down, my bad. Here you go, boys. Boys and gals, there, there. Super cocoa. Okay. These are bonbon. Passion fruit. Passion fruit suckers. Passion fruit suckers. Talking to each other. Passion fruit suckers talking to each other. Oh god, I have more life. Keep this for last. I'm gonna try to like uh <clears throat> Control myself and take a small bite so you guys don't have to watch me chew for like half an hour. It smells like... It doesn't smell... I don't know. It smells like a chewy Jolly Rancher. You know what I mean? But it's brown. Yeah. It definitely just tastes like a... I forgot what the frick they're called. Like, um, my mom loves those. And they're stuck in my teeth. Ugh. Hmm. But is there something cool about them? Let's see. Kind of curious now, even though I said I wasn't going to do this. Let's get, let's get him closer. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Chewy coconut candy. That's what it is. Chewy Super, super coco tirudito. Coconut candy. Well, um, the company behind this famous yum, the story started back in 1948. That's pretty cool. It's actually really good. Okay, last thing, last thing. One last thing. The sucker. Passion fruit? Yeah. smells like, well, probably passion fruit, but if you like, um, uh, what's that called? Oh my god. Pineapple. It smells like pineapple. Oh my god. There's little chunks in there. I don't know what it is. Probably the pieces of passion fruit. I've never had passion fruit. Jesus, what's wrong with me? Like that guy on YouTube, have you guys seen um, the one that's never eaten fruit? Oh my god, it's such a stupid video. I think Cody Ko does, a, he does a, he jokes around about it and stuff. It's really funny. Fucking laugh my ass off when I saw that. Anyway, so I'm gonna taste it now. So. It's really good, but it, it just tastes like pineapple to me. I don't know. I've never had this uh, passion fruit. Um. <laughs> yeah. Stupid joke. This is really good. Like, sorry for all the annoying eating sounds I'm making there. I know it's annoying. I can't stop. It's so damn good, man. It's so good. So, obviously, these boxes just come in once a month. And I'd like to do something like this once a week. Uh, if you guys have any ideas of, I don't know, what we could talk about. Things like grind my gears. Or just random stories. Talk about how shitty our week is, or how great it was, what happened. I'm not for anything. I don't really do anything, so... I know there's probably people online that can relate to me. Maybe not. Maybe people are like, oh, what a fucking 
loser. Ain't that the truth. Okay, so let's check on these suckers. So these suckers are Passion Fruit Lollipop with Bubblegum Center. Jackpot. I'm like the second one I'm probably gonna keep forever and not eat it. Because I want it for I don't want it to go away ever. I guess I could probably just order some online. Anyways. So I'm I just I'm dressed comfy. I don't really wear makeup. I'm not a person that knows how to even really put makeup that much. I'm in my Dean Ambrose clothes and nothing fancy. Alright, and I'll show around too. I forgot. Um I'll post a okay, so I'll post a picture um at the end of the video of everything that was in the box so you don't have to listen to me have no life for 20 minutes <laughs> for the people because I know I check online a lot for boxes I'm like is it worth it is it not worth it well what I think about this box which it's a mess there right now all of this stuff and uh, it was what did I say like 20 $22 around with taxes for Canada, so if you're in the U.S., it's definitely a lot cheaper. This is the smaller box, and it's worth it. It is definitely worth it. You get to learn cool stuff in this book that I'm probably going to read by myself, because it's probably boring for you guys to listen to me read that stuff. And there's a lot of animal facts in there. Anyway, so all stuff you can get online, right? But it's fun, like if you have nothing to do like me and you like getting something from different countries every month, definitely worth it. So I recommend, worth the price. I don't know about the bigger boxes, it looked like there was just extra of the same stuff. But uh, my favorite stuff from the box was definitely, what was it? The Sucker. My favorite thing from the box was the sucker. It's so damn good and it smells so good and there's bubble gum in the middle, okay? So I'm gonna take my flashlight. I'm gonna go back upstairs and I'll see you guys next time, maybe. <laughs> Bye -bye. All right, so I don't have anything, any fancy lights, so I'm using a flashlight with my camera. I wanted to show you guys what I'm sitting in. And this is my fort. It's in our projector room here. And just random storage crap. Bunch of Halloween stuff. Freddie Mercury's holding on to the thing for me. So then you go in. And that's where I sit. Nothing fancy, right? My VCR player, that's right. I'm cool. And that's it. And that's the box, yeah!